PD-170 is a small but solid camcorder packed with lots of pro features. While it doesn't have trendy features like proper 16x9 widescreen, the improved video quality alone puts it among the best in the mini DV ca category. The downside to this camcorder is that it is top heavy and so when you're holding it in your hand, it tends to unbalance it. Most common functions such as audio levels, white balance, shutter, iris and gain are all assigned dedicated buttons on the camera body, preventing them from becoming lost on the menu. All are easily accessible and logically designed. The camera shoots both DV and DV cam, but the data is the same for both, so there is no difference between the two in quality. The standard 12x zoom uses a standard rocker switch on both the tape transport and candle top but a dedicated zoom ring just behind the focus on the lens barrel is easy to grab. Control over variable speeds is excellent with a comfortable amount of drag on the zoom ring. With a little practice, you'll find how smooth and easy manual zooming can be. The PD-170 focuses quickly and precisely in either auto or manual modes, and the knurled rubber focus ring provides a proper amount of drag. The autofocus is fast and reliable and does a better job than most at nailing your subject, even in low light and low contrast situations. Sony maintains a high degree of image quality with purely optical image stabilization. This is the focus ring. This can be changed but to manual or auto by using this switch here. At the moment it's on manual, you can change it to auto, which means that the camera automatically changes it to suit the zoom. You see a Vireo S is an ultra compact, lightweight camera. The camcorder has a Konica Minolta 35x zoom lens to a whopping 800 times zoom with a digital zoom function. Downside is that this affects image quality. I believe that both the camcorders are good for their purpose. The JVC for being lightweight and user friendly and the Sony PD-170 for being very high quality and not very hard to use.